Lovely day, ain't it? Mm -hmm. You guys hear about that thing on the news? I don't watch the news. Me neither. All news is bad news. <laughs> What'd you hear on the news, Billy? Said something about a guy who was born a guy, but he didn't stay a guy. What? What? Out of nerve. Why question what God made you? Back in my day, we just had mans and women who either had a penis or a vagina. That was it. Boys were boys and girls were girls. But now I am starting to see girls dressing like boys and boys dressing like girls, and it's confusing. You know, I did see them wear the lipsticks and the nail polish and all sorts of things. Could you imagine a man in a skirt? How oh. about you? Girl? I'll never let my child do something like that. Nope, never. If a man dresses like a woman, does he have sex with other men or with women? This is so confusing! Mm. <clears throat> what is gender? Let's break it down for you. First, this is in your pants, your genitalia. Are we really going to talk about this right now? In front of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you want them to understand the topic, right? Yeah. 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 So let's go to the side that corresponds with our parts. If you have male parts, go to this side. Female parts, go to this side. Your genitals determine your sex. It's what you're born with. But it's not the same for everyone. It's not? No. Some people are born with two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome, and it leads them to have both male and female parts. Really? Yeah, as crazy as it sounds, it's actually more common than people think. The politically correct term is intersex. Then it's about what's in your mind. Your mind? Yes, your mind, and what you identify with. Girls over here and boys over there. Honey, are you lost? No, I just identify as both. Well, you know, I don't have all day here, so you gotta make up your mind. <laughs> uh, well, I have made up my mind. I identify as both. Can he do that? Yeah, I thought it was one or the other, male or female. Can he really be both? It's already been decided. The answer is no. Says who? Everyone. Everyone. Well, the world isn't that two-sided. For example, I'm gender fluid, and my gender changes according to how I feel, the weather, or the seasons. And that leads us to expression and how you express yourself. If you present yourself as a man, over here. Women, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I express myself as both. I'm on the football team and I watch chick flips. Yeah, sometimes you're talking to high voice and sometimes you're talking to deep voice. Huh? And if I want to wear makeup and a tuxedo to the prom, I'm going to do that. You yeah. should. If I want to work in my car, I'll work in my car. And if I want to bake cupcakes, I'll bake cupcakes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if I want to go hiking in heels, I'm going to go hiking in heels. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Why should we limit ourselves to one side or the other? We should be able to express ourselves in any way we see fit. Yeah, who came up with these gender roles anyway? Right? So, let's review. You have your genitals, your mind, and expression. Next, there's what's in your heart, who you're attracted to, your sexual orientation. So, if you're attracted to girls, go over here. Boys, over here. No. No? It's too restricting. There are way too many sexual orientations that somebody could be. Yeah, like there's gay, lesbian, bisexual, asexual, pansexual, androsexual. There's questioning, queer, monogamous, polyamorous, <coughs> demisexual, scoliosexual, hypersexual. The most spectrum of possibilities. In all four categories. Genitals, heart, mind, expression. Genitals, <laughs> heart, Mind, expression. Genitals, heart, mind, expression. Genitals, heart, mind, expression. Wait. I just want to know what bathroom I have to use. Whatever bathroom you feel comfortable using. It's your choice. It's not so simple. Why not? The world's a dangerous place for people like me. All my life, people have been trying to hold back my freedom of expression. Boys don't run like that. Boys don't eat like that. Boys don't dress like that. Boys don't talk like that. Boys don't have hair like that. Boys don't laugh like that. I am who I am, a flower of expression.
with many different layers. <laughs> Despite the whispers, the stares, the judgment. So let me get this straight. Are you like trying to be a girl or something? What's wrong with being a boy? What are you? And even the threats. I have to learn to be strong, standing in the middle. It takes courage to walk down the street every day. It takes heart to be who you truly are. And it takes strength to look opposition in the eye and say this is who I am and I am not changing it. We reject a binary that puts human beings into neat little boxes. We reject labels. See, there are millions of possibilities floating around, waiting for the right person to come and snatch them up. And put on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and proudly parade around. <laughs> in their new skin. Or the one they were born in. <gasps> oh, yeah. nice. Wow. Or the one we were too afraid to ever show. Yes. yes. But now we do, so let's celebrate. Cause sometimes my gender's a boy who kind of looks like a girl who's attracted to boys. Sometimes it's a girl who looks like a boy who likes other girls. And other times, my gender's in the middle, blowing. But most of the time, my gender is... None of your business!